Hello, hello. Welcome back to the weekly Monday Motivation Podcast. No more excuses. I am your host, Sandy Ballard, the badass business coach. I've almost gotten my voice back, so yeah, sound a little better, I think. At least maybe I'm just getting used to it. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for being here. Thanks for listening and sharing this podcast with others. Check out my website, badassbusiness.coach. And yes, whew, the crazy continues, doesn't it? Today I'm flying back from California after coming, going to Indy, coming to Indy, whatever, for an unfortunate reason. One of my tribe, one of my babes, one of my bitches, lost her husband on Christmas Day. He was literally the nicest guy I've ever met in my life. And it's just, if you read the comments from people, um, just, they feel the same. It just, he's, it's a tremendous, tremendous loss. And it's so sad because little kids, young kids, 11 and 13, my heart's just breaking for her and her kids. And not that I want to start out this podcast as a downer, um, but just thinking about reality, isn't it? It's life and shit we have to deal with that you, you don't ever want to have to deal with at, at least at a younger age. So this week, I'm really going to get in your ass about making time for things, taking the time for you, for family, as well as your business and career, all right? And it starts with your word of the year. Last year's, or last year, last Monday's podcast was about choosing your word of the year. And did you do it? Well, if not, uh, I mentioned in one of last week's social media posts that my word of the year is transpire. The last three years, my words have been starting with ease, expand, elevate, empower. And ironically, this year, it, the word transpire also means emerge. And it's important. If you haven't done it, you've got to do it now. It's important because it helps align with your values. It helps align with your goals. It's what will help you identify if you're off track, if it's, you know. So you've got to make sure that that word resonates with you. So make sure you, don't forget, you can either message me, email me, sandy at sandyballard.com. Or on my website, badassbusiness.coach, go to the podcast page and download the worksheet there. You know, then you've got to carry that word with you throughout the year. Live by it, right? And because I've asked all my clients at the end of the year, I ask them throughout the year. But then at the end of the year, we really do a review on how that word um, aligned, how it helped them. You know, for most of us, as we look at the second week of January, we're really starting to settle in and get comfy and start really looking at our goals. And as I mentioned in the opening the last and last Thursday's image, there's no time like the present to get off your ass and start. Yes, last Thursday's post in my social media. So if you're not following me on social media, you need to. You know, it's like there's no time like the present to get off your ass and start, right? A year from now, you'll wish you had started today. That's what the image quote was. A year from now, you'll wish you had started today. No matter if that is making memories, starting that business you've always thought about starting, asking for the promotion or raise, asking for the referral, take a chance. Make shit happen. 2022 is here. 2022 is here. No matter if you're ready or not, it's here and it's time. Say it with me. I'll talk to you in February. Yes, February. I just said that to a client at the end of last week. I was like, "What? wait a minute, this is still January. But that's when our next meeting is. Yes, the days, the weeks, the months fly by. And, you know, you'll wish you had a little time back. I wish like many of you, we could have a week or hell one day that the vid, the pandemic didn't come up in conversation. I long for that day, and it's happened here and there. I actually just said to the man candy the other day when we hung out with some new friends, I was like, did did you realize that the vid was not brought up at all? I mean, it's so refreshing. You know, we just had one night. It was sometimes unavoidable to obsess about it because it's on the news. It's in the news. It's on our phones. We're getting bombarded with it. We're getting it like uh, we did a couple weeks ago. You know, and it's virtually impossible for my friend who just buried her husband to let that go. And although that's not what took him, it's what started the downfall of his health. And for these podcasts, starting next week, I'm not going to bring it up, okay? We know it's there. 
We know it's screwed up so much for many of us. We know it's caused realizations, things we needed to face that we were avoiding, which is something I talked about actually last year at this time. We cannot change what we cannot, what we will not face. So we had to face things. We had to stop avoiding. We know the vid has forced us to get uncomfortable, being comfy, getting uncomfy. We know the vid has forced us to pivot, make changes, adjust, accept loss, and also create more efficiency. We know it's there. But the more you prepare, the easier it will be to get back on track when, not if, but when shit goes sideways. Yeah, if you're a longtime listener, you've heard me say that many times. So what will you do today that your future self will thank you for? What, will, what are you willing to do for you, for your family, friends, colleagues, staff? You know, how does your word of the year play into all that? My word is transpire, to emerge. And I'm pushing you now. Okay, I'm putting my pointy shoes on to get off your ass. I'm pushing you today to start transpiring, to start emerging. It's time to fly, people. I'm not saying you have to cash in all your chips at once, but stop trying to make shit perfect. Stop trying to make sure you have all the answers beforehand. You know, if you're in school or getting certifications, that's great. I have one new client that just, well, I could take this class and I could take this class. Stop it and just start doing. You wondered why you didn't make any money last year? Because you were thinking and not doing. So if you've got, you know, think about it. If you got everything taken from you today, would you be like, damn it, I was just about to fill in the blank? Or would you be like, all right, I tried. That was working. That's good. Maybe I can rebuild, you know, not maybe, but I can rebuild. Maybe you say that because it depends on what it was that was taken. So think about that. Would you be like, oh, I was just about to. Or would you be okay with everything you did and tried? My, hu- my friend and her husband didn't sit around and wait. They took the kids out of school. They took, advent- t- they took adventures, it created experiences, made memories. And yes, I'm all about education, goals, and achievements. But if you've listened to me for a while or you know me, I will say I'm a business coach, but life is what gets in the way of your business. So my clients and I always discuss life every single time we talk. And, you know, it's just, it's it's what happens. And maybe it's fresh on my mind. That's why I'm getting on my soapbox. So a client of mine, word I talked to last week, his last, uh, his word for last year was progress. During our year-end review, it was, you know, he listed all the progress that was made in life and the business. Progress with the office updates, hiring better, training more effectively, communicating more effectively, health and wellness, new home, um, progress with his kids and their schools, all right? And then he's thinking about this year's word. Another one, 2021 word, was plan. She did a lot of planning with her new project, growth for her main company, and for the kids and, and stuff, uh, renovations and things at home and life in general. And this year, she's planned, she's built. Now it's time to forge. Her word for 2022 is forge, to take what she has and move to the next level. It's all about leverage. This week, I want you to review your year, sum it up in one word, sum up 2021 in one word. Does your new word for the year carry that torch forward? And think about where you are right now. Will the goals that you've set up get you to where you want to go? It's leverage. Taking what you have now, getting to that next level. Are you playing big enough? So this week, as always, do this activity. Share here. I told you I was going to push. So yes, you got to re- sum up your 2021 in one word. And make sure your word of the year aligns. And that your goals are really going to help you get where you want to go. A lot, a lot of emotion, a lot of intensity. So let's, again, all get off our ass and make shit happen, right? right, Have a great week. I look forward to hearing from you. Please watch the social media for additional challenges because I'll reiterate all of this then. And have a great week. Cheers.